welcome back. We are here with Raven and she is about to go to work actually. So she's just exercising autonomously. Until then, she is obsessed with her home gym, which I guess is to be expected for an athletic sim. She's doing push-ups. She gets to work and she immediately does push-ups on the ground. Anyway, so after our most recent promotion, we have to now successfully diagnose and treat three patients. So we're getting started with this guy over here. He's got an interesting hair skin combination here and then splotches all over him. So uh, we are going to give him a treadmill test and analyze his sample and continue to run tests on him in order to find out what is wrong. So we are going, I don't know why they came back to the treadmill again. I'm trying to get him back to his bed. So then we are going to check his eyes after the analysis is done. And again, for the doctor career, you have to watch the sim. So we're watching him, we're seeing what he does, we're seeing what his symptoms are. Obviously he has some kind of rash, but what else is he doing? He's just kind of, okay, it looks like he has a itchy. He's itchy. So there's that. Maybe a stomach ache. I couldn't really tell if he was holding his stomach there for a second. So uh, we're going to check his eyes, his ears, again, just to get to gold as well as being, you know, successfully diagnosing and treating. So we have a decent chance we're going to take his temperature, but then we are going to actually choose Itchy Plum Blob because he's scratching, isn't he? So that is actually something that requires surgery, and we haven't done surgery yet with Raven, so this is really exciting. So we are going to take him for surgery, and here we go. Her very first surgery, very exciting. She kind of looks like she doesn't know what she's doing. She looks a little nervous to me. <laughs> Um, but, uh, the patient also looks like he doesn't really trust us. Whoops. So anyway, um, the treatment was a failure and I don't know if we diagnosed it wrong or if she's just no good at surgery or what the deal is, but that is not good for her work performance. This is really bad because, you know, we want to get to level 10 of this career. We don't want to, you know, have people getting botched surgeries and then leaving unhappy. From the hospital like what happens now we failed to treat him is he gonna like go out into the street and die i don't know so uh that's bad anyway we're watching her she's got a headache she's got steam coming from her ears sounds like a uh, bloaty head to me but we are also trying to get to a gold here so we're going to give her a treadmill test anyway even though we're pretty sure we know what the problem is also looks like one of our co-workers died and is now a ghost but anyway, we are going, we're now at gold, so that's pretty good. And we are going to continue to run tests on her in order to come to a conclusion. So we're going to choose bloaty head because of the steam and the headache. And it looks like we got this one right, so that's good. So Raven is kind of, you know, feeling a little sad because her very first surgery and it went poorly. And, you know, the workday is over. She's just kind of bummed. She's, you know, it wasn't a good day at work, I guess. She did help one person, but she botched the surgery, and now she's worried about that guy and what's going to happen to him, and he just kind of left the hospital, so, you know, she's just not feeling good. So she's going to get something to eat, and her fun is also low, so she's going to call over Cade. And like we talked about last time, she's not really sure that she believes Cade's story, but, like, She's not really sure what else she should do. She's thinking about kicking him to the curb, but her fun is low and he is, you know, the only person in her life available for that kind of thing. So she, you know, she's just not really thinking about what she's going to do yet. She's stalling on the decision. And, um, you know, she tells him about her day at work and... He says, well, you know what? Why don't we go on a little vacation to Mount Komorebi just for the day tomorrow while you're off work? And then, you know, you can relax and, and you know, kind of recoup from what had happened. So they are going to go on just a day trip together. And, you know, she just needs to, needs a pick-me-up after her bad day at work. So we are going to Mount Komorebi. We are going to choose the snowy area and just one of these houses so that they can, you know, ski and do all that fun stuff. So they're only going to stay for one day. 
And here we go. And honestly, this house is too big for them, but I wanted to live in this area, so it's fine. So uh, here we are. They are going to Woohoo again. You know, this is just a fun little trip. You know, just a romantic day trip getaway. And she's going to... Actually, she, I was having her take a mud bath, and I didn't realize that that was going to make her hygiene worse. Whoops. So anyway, she's... She's enjoying the mud bath, but her hygiene is getting really low, so we have to take a regular bath now, too. And he's cooking. He's hungry, I guess. Also, going on vacation with someone not in your household is kind of hard, because then when you go places, they don't necessarily come with you, and you're not part of a group, so you can't force them to come with you. Maybe I should have made them be in a group. I don't know. Anyway, so they are just hanging out. She's going to grab something to eat. She's going to go to the bathroom, keep her needs up, and then she is going to go and have some fun out in the snow. So first, food. And then I'm looking around for things. We are just going to practice some snowboarding on the bunny slope. You know, she's a beginner, so I don't want to um, push her too hard. Probably I should have bought her a... Um, what's it called like an actual snowboard from the store and here she goes so we're going to try and get a few pictures of her as well going up and down the slopes this is fun and for a second there I thought that guy was her father but it's not it's not someone else and I guess you can't start a club gathering while you're on vacation which is fine but you know, I don't know. I thought it'd be nice if they all went snowboarding together, but you can kind of see she's she makes some funny faces while she's snowboarding. And that's my dog crying to go out despite the fact that he's been out twice in the last half an hour just because he wants to go out and play in the snow. I mean, can you blame him? The snow was fun. So, um... What else? What am I looking for? Hiking. Hiking. I wanted them to go on a hike together. That would be fun, but I couldn't remember where the hiking location was. So I'm just looking around for that. And I am going to send them both to the hot spring so that they can unwind. And also, you know, it'd be really fun. Like if you're thinking about it, go on a nice hike in the snow and then get in the hot spring afterwards. So that is definitely vacation worthy. I think I have to go take my dog out again. Okay, hold please. Okay, I'm back. He's He's got me wrapped around his uh, little paw. Anyway, so what are we doing? A hike. They are going to hike to the natural cove. So that'll be fun. I mean, more fun for them than it is for us because they're just running around. But they are also I have to change his clothes because why is he's gonna freeze to death everyone's always gonna freeze to death on me they need to learn to change their clothes on their own but anyway um, they are just going to look at the nature it's very beautiful it's very nice I'm looking around I'm like what is here anyway like I can't even tell what I'm supposed to be looking at it's just a clearing Anyway, um, there is, I guess, nothing over here. Uh, isn't there supposed to be a cave somewhere? Is that this, or is that somewhere else? Uh, I don't know. So anyway, uh, they are going to hike back, and look! That guy that we botched the surgery on is here in Mount Kalmarebi! So she's like, oh man, I can't believe I'm seeing this guy. Like, this is so embarrassing. I botched his surgery, and now he's. I'm seeing him out in the world, and oh, it's just horrible. It's just making her feel worse. Like, she's supposed to be trying to come here and get away from it all, and instead, she's just reminded of her bad day at work, and oh, she's just. She's like, I need to go to the hot spring and relax. So, cue me trying to find the hot spring because I get lost in these world maps. I mean, I love that Mount Komorebi is so open, but it's hard to find things sometimes. So we are going to come over here, take a shower, get in the hot spring. For some reason, uh, Cade has decided to leave, so I have to call him back over. So we are going to call him here and then get in the hot spring together. Very nice, very romantic. So um, there are actually quite a few people here already. 
So she is going to get into the hot spring with him, although he didn't shower first, so that's kind of a jerk move. And then they are going to just relax, get a little steamy. And um, yeah, so they are just enjoying each other's company. That guy thinks it's hot. Anyway, so they force him out because they are going to woohoo in the hot spring, enjoy themselves. And since, you know, we're in a hot spring and they're in bathing suits and stuff, they don't have any protection. So you can see where I'm going with this. Um, but they don't know yet where I'm going with this. So they are now going to head back to the accommodation. And she's really got to go to the bathroom. I'm pretty sure she's going to pee herself because it takes her so long. And she's going to like freeze to death because it takes her so long. So anyway, this is just sad watching this walk all the way, all the way to the edge here. So finally she goes just as she's about to freeze to death. Okay, so we are back at the um, rental place, and she has very low hygiene because she just peed herself. And she's hungry, and she's tired. Also, I have no idea where he is. So there's that, even though he's supposed to be staying here. Whatever. And so we are just going to take care of some of her needs, but actually the vacation is ending. And she does have work tomorrow, so we can't stay any longer, and honestly, I don't find any value in staying any longer, maybe another time, but she is still embarrassed that she peed herself, and she has a few things to do, she's hungry, she's tired, and she actually has work very, very soon, so that is a problem, because she's exhausted, but she's got to go to work anyway, so here we go. Headed off to the daily grind, she's even more tired than usual. But we are going to make it work. So she is going to swab, take temperature, and run tests to find diagnosis. You can see this sim swatting around their head. So that's a symptom we are going to pay attention to. Also, we want to x-ray a sim and check their sample or analyze their sample. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to cheat her needs because she keeps trying to walk away. Like, I wouldn't mind if she was miserable as long as she still did what I wanted her to do but she won't so we're just gonna have to handle that so we are also going to try and get her in the x-ray machine so here we go then we're going to log the analysis results I'm just going to queue up getting her back into bed after that and actually a patient is collapsed somewhere they're not here yet, but they will. They will be collapsed. And so there is an emergency. Here they are, fallen to the ground. So we are going to quickly run over and treat this patient. She is able to, of course, get up and walk all the way to the surgery station, despite having collapsed. And we are going to try and redeem ourselves from the last surgery. So I think that Raven is a little nervous. You know, she's thinking that she botched the last surgery and she's really nervous that it's going to happen again and that maybe she's not cut out for this after all and blah, blah, blah. But the surgery is successful and it actually makes her feel really good because she feels like she's redeemed herself. She feels, you know, all those insecurities kind of falling away and, you know, she just is, is starting to gain her confidence back. You know, she just needed a little break, a little breather, a nice little vacation to come back refreshed, recharged, and kick ass. So that is what we are here for. She is now going to treat a patient that will be patient uh, three of three, actually, because the collapsed patient counted as one. So we are ready for our next promotion as soon as we can get that, like as soon as the progress meter gets high enough. So we are going to continue to try and get to gold here. And we actually still have quite a lot of time left in the workday because it's until 7 and it's only like 3. And so Lex is calling on the phone and so she, Lex is like, what is up? Like, what are you doing? Like, you just disappeared for the day. What's going on? Did you end up deciding what you were going to do? You never call me back. And so Raven calls her back and is like, I'm at work right now. I can't really talk that much, but... Um, 
you know, I went away for the day and Lex is like, you went out with Cade, didn't you? And she's like, yeah, I did. And, you know, she's just, she just hasn't decided yet what she's going to do about the whole situation. And, you know, that's kind of sad and crappy and we all feel very bad for Cade's wife, but he's lying and saying that him and his wife have like a separate, are separated. And so, I mean, Raven doesn't really believe him, but she's really not sure. Like, it's not like she can go up to his wife and be like, are you really separated from your husband? Cause I'm sort of dating him. I mean, maybe she could, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility, but anyway, she is just like, she just needed a break. He was there. Whether that's right or wrong, that's up to her. Um, but he is obviously not good enough for either of these ladies. But she has got to, you know, get her fun up a little bit and also use the bathroom. And so she kind of haven't, hasn't been feeling good. She threw up uh, earlier. I forget when. But... um. She was sick, so she took a pregnancy test because, you know, that time in the sauna or the hot spring or whatever. And so she found out that she's pregnant and she totally didn't mean to get pregnant. Not that she minds because she does know that she has to have an heir. So, of course, she knew that at some point that this was going to come. So she invites Kate over and she tells him that she's pregnant and she gives him one last chance. She says, look, you either have to really convince me that you are separated from your wife and we can do this if you want. We can do this thing. I don't mind. Like, I can let you be a part of this baby's life and a part of my life. But I need to know that you're telling me the truth. Otherwise, it's just a deal breaker for me. And he's like, no, I promise. Like, I'll, I'll you know, talk to her. We'll, I'll convince you. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Just empty words. And, um... So we will see what Raven does with that in the next one. So that is um, what is coming in the future. And we will be resolving this entire situation in the next episode. But in the meantime, here are the screenshots from this one. It was a nice little break, a nice little vacation for her. So that is, you know, she went snowboarding and made a lot of funny faces while she was snowboarding. So that was entertaining. And then off to the hike, which had a nice view, but not much else. So that was that was good too. And then the conception of our next heir. So I'm really excited about that. And we are going to start moving along here, especially because she's already so high in her career. I didn't want to like spend too much time waiting around for a baby. So we're going to have a little whoopsie baby. Her in her bathing suit having to go to the bathroom. Anyway, um. Uh, Yes, we will catch up with what is going to happen to Cade, what is going to happen with that whole situation, and have our air in the next video. So I am super excited about that. I hope you are too. So I will catch you guys next time.